Hello everyone, it is me, it's Erica, and today I'm going to be reviewing, where are you, you're over here, Platinum from Stone Coat Countertops. I'm going to try to do it on an ocean, and I hope you guys join me. Cue the intro. What is up? How's it going? Clearscape, I hope you've had an amazing day. Crystal, what's up? Let me get my chat going so I can see all of you. Hey, JJ. Okay. So I'm kind of nervous about, <laughs> kind of nervous about this because I've only played with the platinum coat down at Rhonda's. At, at RK3, so I wasn't like, I had adult supervision, right? And it makes me nervous because it is a faster setting resin. So it's by Stone Coat. This is made so that you can do countertops and like get them done like same day. But you know, I don't really use things as they're supposed to be used, so. YOLO. So on the packaging it says the procedure is used at 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, measure two parts A to one part B into a clean container, mix thoroughly for two to four minutes, pour over the surface you wish to coat with a 1 8 inch square notch trowel. I don't have one of those. It is definitely hotter than 80 degrees here. After application, break bubbles by holding a propane torch six to eight inches away and sweeping across the surface till bubbles are gone. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use a heat gun. Recommend our top coat as a scratch resistant finish. The thing about top coat is, is it's matte and I want my ocean to be oceany, so I don't want it matte. I have some top coat, but we're not gonna use that. Um, and really, I don't care if it's scratch resistant that much because it's artwork. It's not gonna be like, on things. Hey guys! Um, dry to the touch 24 hours, light use 48 hours, full cure 7 days. 7 days! It's like the ring. In 7 days, it's full cure, whereas most resins are full cure in 30 days. Uh, and don't get it on your skin, don't breathe it, don't drink it. it may cause drowsiness or dizziness. Ooh. And it's got the standard warnings for resiny things. So whenever you use resin, um, wear a respirator, be cautious. I don't want you guys getting sick because you watched my videos. Vamp says, so basically don't do anything listed on the bottle. Here's the thing. If everybody always used things as directed, nothing would be innovative, right? That's probably absolutely wrong. This is our piece from yesterday. Loving it. It's not going to focus. Yeah, there it goes. Definitely look better from Jeff's phone, but tis what it is. So, if you guys did the class yesterday, Hi, Bowie. Um, the last step is, also don't do what Erica does. Also that. It's like you guys know me. So my thing with that is, is just know what you're using, know what you're doing, and take all the proper precaution that you need to for your body. You guys know how your body is. I don't know how your body is. Um, and just, know just know know what you're doing know what you're getting into um, know what your body can handle if you have any kind of reaction then you should uh, wear a respirator I am not a medical professional shocker so I can't advise anybody on um, what you should or shouldn't do for yourself 
we take all precautions minus the respirator, which is arguably one of the more important precautions to take, but then you can't hear me, so that would be a problem. So check it out. That's so fun. Let's move this so you can see. How fun is that that you can see right through it? Still not going to focus. That's fine. Be that way. And another great thing about these is the back always looks fun as well. But you guys can't see it because my camera doesn't want to focus. So. Uh, are you talking to me, Bowie Bean? Let me just help you down. You can set that to the side. Now get down. Come here, big boy. Come here, big boy. You can go sit in front of your fan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to let that be. Lay down. Now, for what we came here for, I went ahead and spray painted this. If you guys wish, I'll do a video on spray painting an ocean as well. All the racket in the background is cats. Cats and cats. Let me... Here, you guys play with this instead. How about that? Now, hi Angela, hello everyone. I know JJ, the transparency is one of my favorite things about our clear shapes, which you can find on our website, artistsoldat.com. Two T's, two L's. I'm nervous. Okay, you ready? I'm not ready. I have to be ready. They're having a for real fight right over there. So the colors I'm going to be using are Milky Way by Resin Art, Bondi Blue, ooh, from Color Obsession, and Color Obsession Snow White. So you will notice that these bottles are different sizes. And that is because it is a two to one. So you do two parts of the big bottle to one part of the small bottle. Yes, it is slightly yellow, but the cool thing about platinum is it will not yellow. It will not yellow. That's what they say. I haven't had a piece yellow with art coat either, but this is touted as an actual non-yellowing resin. You just have to make sure that whatever white you put in it is also not yellowing because some paints will yellow no matter what. No matter. Hi, Bee. Did I scare you? No. Oh, look at that. Did you airbrush that? No. I spray painted that. Whoa. What is, these, what is the little fish? Are those fish? What is that? No, they're not. So I went and I wiped off that the texture spray that went down yes. and it made these little... Oh my God. So you could spray that on here a little and then go... And then make them like little fish. Mm -hmm. What? New texture. Bam, bam, bam. He's talking oh. about these little white dashes that are in here. Any hot? Any hot? So, okay, so yeah, two to one. On the cups that we use, there's a two to one little dewflotcher right here. Confuses me every time, so I'm going to use the regular ounces that are right here. So for this 18 inch round, a nine ounces would be way too much. 
We're gonna do six ounces, so I'm gonna do up to four with part A and then up to six with part B. So that's six divided by three is two, so two, two, two. Don't, e-math is way worse than e-science, so just don't listen to my, my math. How do I know which color brands yellow? Usually paints that are titanium based and the main like ingredient is titanium won't yellow. That's as much as I can tell you about that. I just found that out a couple days ago. Foods here. Foods is here. Your presence is here. What? And I was like, what are you gonna put in this? Well, it's perfect. It doesn't take a lot of room. And I, I can, like, they're perfect for tweezers and stuff. Like, also worth noting is it's about as liquidy as a casting epoxy. Well, part B isn't. All right, so I filled up to part, to four ounces with part A, the thinner one. Now I'm going to fill up to six with part B. Nope. I don't know what part I'm using. Yeah, part B. And now we mix. This says up to six minutes. It's so liquidy, it makes me nervous. I'm like, I know I mixed it wrong already. Hey TG. Heidi, if you send me like an email, which I am still behind on, I'm becoming more and more stressed about it by the day. But I will eventually answer it and get you, you know, whatever it is you're asking me about. So it's 2.34 now. I'm gonna let it roll. So with this also, a cool thing about it is it's sandable after two hours, right B? Right. You can sand platinum after two hours. I don't know, I don't know if I don't know about that. I'll have to ask Rhonda. Angela, I'm using platinum from Stone Coat. I'll just ask Rhonda right here. I'm pretty sure it's two hours, but I could be getting that mixed up with quick coat. Completely possible. Possible. My pleasure, Heidi. I know, TG, it's, it's crazy. But the thing about doing ocean waves is that... I need to wait. Oh, okay. No, it's okay, go ahead. The resin that you use and the paste that you use both matter in what your cells look like and what your ocean looks like. Hour and a half to two hours, depending on temperature and your work environment to be dry to the touch. But unlike Quick Coat, which is also by Stone Coat, um, it doesn't yellow, which is awesome. What's up, Joe Fish? So, I'm nervous about trying it, but excited about seeing how everything flows in terms of Wait, cells. You know, also the fact that I like to use a tint changes how cells react. There may be some sticky over there. I did flood that uh, Hello Kitty. So, yeah, I'm nervous. Y'all are nervous, but we are going to explore this together. Joe, I'm so glad that you like Dalmatian Obsession. It's one of my favorites of all of them, for sure. Babe. It's for your 50th. It's that supposed to be. It's what you've been wanting for like 800 years. Oh, murder. Kind of wish you opened the other one first because it's not as cool as that one. <laughs> Babe, anything. Oh, 
Babe, it's a bee. Know it. This is this is amazing. He's got to get it with a chain. You are for days, right? It gets everywhere. Dude, that is rad. Let me show the peeps. We are working on coming to Florida. I just need to make sure that uh, we would have enough to fill a class. Look at this, you guys. This is what I got from a bee day. It's a bee. It's by King Baby. Kind of hard to see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at that big bad mama jamma. That. This is sickening. What does that say? Chosen? The chosen one. Just chosen, but I say chosen. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. What's for me? Glad Monkey didn't ruin it. I showed her what it was at Ron's house. Oh, yeah. Vamp loves King Baby. Everyone loves it, loves it, loves it. <sighs> Had to do something special for his 50th, you know? I don't think. I feel like I've stirred this enough, but I can't remember what time I said I started. I want to say 34, so that would be five minutes, but I'm scared. Because it's still so thin. It's like warm syrup. Everyone says I've birthday bee. Thanks. I also didn't know what size you would need for what finger for that size ring, so. Well. The only thing with that is I can only wear a certain amount of ring because you get them, you keep getting them for these. I got to size up on that one. Oh, this is. I can send it back. No way. Okay. This is amazing. Did you fix Stabby yet? S stabby. I think somebody said Stab. Did they say Stab me? No, they said, did you fix Stabby yet? Um. No, I, I, I'm gonna have to, I'll probably have to like Dremel out the little arm socket part so that I can actually put, like it broke right at the, like the base and right, like the joint. Like the uneven, like I can't believe how delicate that thing is. Hi, Georgia. So yeah, we are thinking about going down to Florida to teach another class. We just need to see if anyone would go to it since Florida, I don't know what their lockdown situation is. Man, that hurricane's getting really bad. Yeah. Luckily, it's, it's I think it's gonna miss Houston. It looks like it's gonna miss Houston. Okay. So I don't want to add too much to this. A pipette comes with this, any of the tents, but I um, don't know where the one is that I was using for this one, so yellow. Things are open down here somewhat. beautiful color. Crazy how it looks blue in the bucket, but then when you lift it out, it's got that green kind of hue to it. And it's not just that the stir stick is wood color. It's actually, like if you look at it dropping off the stir stick, it's that lighter color. Oh, good. Hey, Jude. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, go. I didn't say... I didn't save any clear and I should have. Make him a custom koozie or a face mask. Yeah. Let's make Kenny a face mask that says eye candy.
bring this side up a little bit. Any kind, anytime I kind of just talk out loud, but to kind of no one, but also to you guys, I feel kind of Bob Rossi. And he's like, let's just add a little. That's what I always say, though. I always say, like, it's like you're in that, the art supply store. You're just kind of talking, you're not talking to anybody. You made yourself a little bit. It's okay. I think it's easier to, to work stuff out like that. Because I think if you say something out loud like that, and you're hearing it, you're like, that's, that's a little crazy. I'm not thinking that to myself. You say it out loud, and you think it's crazy, then you might want to read it. Yeah, but if you say something crazy out loud and then Karen's on the next row. Then Karen can uh, leave that row. And, and, uh, She's going to leave the row and call the cops. And they're going to meet you outside. No, no offense to anybody who can. Oh, yeah, that's not a. <laughs> we love any and all people, Karen or no. TG says it's not crazy at all. I forgot to tell you guys this, but when you. Are mixing your resin don't forget to scrape the bottom of your cup and dang it forgot to mix in my this I am not here today I'm mixing a little bit of Milky Way into this um, but scrape the bottom of your mixing cup and your sides to make sure that everything is well incorporated she'll ask for the manager first that's fair Holly just spent two weeks in Hermosa and meow, I'm broke. Well, I'm jealous, so. Jeff and I actually just booked a trip, a not work trip. Shocker. I'm just putting lines of this Milky Way infused blue in because I'm just going to mix it up anyways. So hear me out on my application. Don't judge me yet. So you do have to kind of work faster with this than you otherwise would. It's not as fast working as um, Quick Coat. Quick Coat is... That blue took over. Oh well, we're just gonna have sparkly ocean water. Quick coat is way faster setting. You have 15 minute, well, not way. So you have about 20 minutes working time, I believe, with this stuff. I know why you look so extra white today. Look at our leopard just chilling out like he owns this couch. Is he all sprawled out like he's, he's ready just, for his yeah, photo shoot? 2017. Ready for his close up, Mr. DeVille. I think that made it a little Whoa. darker. What is that? Is that Milky Way? Mm -hmm. Y'all. It's going to look good. I can't wait to see what, what just the resin looks like on there to make it look like it, the wave came up and came back. I know, I was gonna sand. do that on this one, but I accidentally mixed blue into all of my white. This one I mean, all of my clear. That looks great. And you painted it gold? In places, I dusted it so that there's like that regular tan showing through a little bit. Man, that's super fishy creative. Keep going. You know it. But still, that looks great. So I'm doing the white just as I always do, where the ocean line meets the sand. Looks like I have a bit of a gap right here, so I'm going to fill that in. That's better. And it's funny because he doesn't even say it. <laughs> in my head, he says it exactly like that. So, 
I'm going to, uh, yeah, what Jeff will do a true color video. Gonna use the platypus attachment with the overbite. Some bubbles, pop and broccoli. Pop and broccoli. No idea where that came from. No Wi Fi. Ugh. Hey, T. Okay. Okay. Typically, ideally, if this is a commission piece, I would let my white thicken up a lot. Just let it sit in the cup. But, thank you, Jessica. Um, I got time for that. So, we're going to just go with it. No, we're not. We're going to have a little bit more white, and then we're going to go with it. It is starting to thicken up. The longer any resin is in your initial mixing cup where you put the part A and part B together, the faster it's going to start to set. Okay, now we're ready. Ooh, okay. I'm just popping bubbles out here, which is probably unnecessary since I'm about to put a whole bunch of heat on it to move my waves back. you guys in for a close up. So it looks like this is a pretty good um, combination for frothy waves. Not gonna focus. There we go. Ish. I'm pushing it a little bit to get it flowing outward, and then coming back behind it and giving it a final push. I've learned that if you just go all in at one time, your wave will break. I'll show you. If you just do it all at one time, your wave will break and you'll have this double line, which is fine, but I really want it to be fuller. So I'm doing my wave in waves, so to speak. Do be careful not to add too much heat because even resin that won't yellow will scorch. And scorched resin kind of turns it like a burnt color. So just be mindful of that. I'm going to round out the front of my wave a little bit because there's a little bit of blue showing through in different parts. Hi, Jessica and Lyndon. This white is already starting to get really gummy, which is fine. I find that my waves work better when the resin's at that state. You can see how gummy it is if I lift this up to see how long it takes before it breaks. 
and starts to drip instead of full pour. So that's like a foot up, which is pretty great. That's kind of where I like it to be when I start to do waves and things. So what do you guys think? Should I do a secondary wave back here or leave it? Gabriella, I used Bondi Blue from Color Obsession. It's a tint. I mixed in a little bit of Milky Way for some sparkle. And then I used Color Obsession's Snow White paste for my waves. More waves, more waves, okay. Gotta be fast when you're pulling hairs out of this particular resin because it'll set up on you in a, a blink of an eye. Okay, so let's do another wave. If you put clear down first, Then your wave won't turn blue because it's going blue just a little bit because I'm kind of pushing some of the tint that I have down over. The wave. See how some of the waves kind of blue? But down here it's white. It's because I didn't push any of the blue over. Thanks, you guys. That's that secondary wave that we were talking about right there from instead of like push, push, if you just do one push, it's going to break like that, which is fine if you want like a double wave look. Um, so for spray paint, I use Stone by rust -Oleum. It's like a texture spray. You can see that, that rough look right there and then I put a metallic gold spray paint over it because sand is boring. I don't know. I tilted this just a little bit when I was showing you all that so it kind of squished my wave so I'm gonna push those back out real quick. See how long it took that to move? It's starting to set up already. this if you can see here where these cells are kind of like elongated just right here whenever it comes back into focus eventually come on now If it doesn't focus in a second, I'll just manually do it. Fine. Just 
do it manually. I want to show you guys what it looks like, what the difference is when it's more set up resin. Jessica, I do ship cradle boards to London. Okay, let me move you guys over here. cross-armed. No worries. There. Okay, where was I? Oh, really? We're going to be not focused now? there. So these ones here look stretched when it's in focus. I wonder if I just do autofocus while I have it up there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. See there how they're like crashing over each other and stretched out cells? That is from the resin being more set. So all this like movement here. And over here is from the resin being more set. So these softer cells out here and over here are from just regular from where it was Um, I forgot what I was saying. More waves. I can give it a shot. I need to see if I can put one more back there. Anytime, Jessica. Well, I'm glad you're here, Casey. Um, what do you recommend for ventilation systems since I'll be working in my basement? Do you have any windows in your basement? Um, makes me want to stick my toes in. Same. Looks good. Love the lacing. Been home watching y'all live. I'm so glad. So that's the difference in putting your... So since you weren't over here. See how these are like crash waves almost? How they're stretched? Yeah. It's because the resin is on the last bit of its life. Of what is this, time. platinum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so since it sets in two hours and the working time is only about 20 minutes, you can work with getting cells like this. And they stay. And they stay. You don't have to worry about it setting and losing its shape. Especially since you have to use so much heat to get them to go. If you wanted to, you could like write it an hour 45, hour 50, you could and raise up a little bit. So like the white is coming up. Oh yeah, that curl. Whoa. I don't recommend that at home. <laughs> <laughs> it would be an experimentation. See. Um, be careful. If you're not used to working with resin, do not start with platinum coat because it will set, it'll set up on you. You need to make sure that you are familiar with how fast it'll set up. For example, remember how fluid this was like five minutes ago? I can stretch it even further now. That's about two feet. And this is like hot glue. This is about where um, I recommend taking off tape on the side of your pieces if you have taped your sides. This consistency, hold on. When it's like this is when I recommend moving, removing tape if you tape your sides. 
Um, I don't know about the heat resistance. However, I know the top coat that comes with this kit is heat resistant and UV resistant like Art Coat. However, the top coat is matte. The only downside that I've been told about so far with the Platinum is it's softer than Art Coat. Art Coat cures pretty rigid after 30 days, but this is a softer uh, resin and it's supposed to have the top coat over it so that it's more rigid for using it with countertop. Come on, I know. Trying to get your mama's attention. Should I send an E or is it fair game here? Oh my gosh. Is it about resin? What are you doing? What? What? He pulled this off there. The E is eating the chicken. I want to say the cat probably pushed it off because he doesn't get up on time. What? How did he push it off? They never even were over here. They're over there playing. They were. They were in here earlier. We'll keep an eye on him. Um, it's about resin. I'm happy to answer that, even if it's not about this. No, Heat resistance is a little bit less. color video of this piece. I probably can't move it too much at this point. It's not really. I mean, I guess it's moving a little bit. So let's see. i do this bit over here. If you want to get more of those stretched cells, See how elongated those are. Which kind of looks the most like ocean waves to me because it's cells that are crashing or waves that are crashing into the ocean. You do have to be a little bit cautious about not overworking this because you don't want it to set with a funky texture. And it will. Um, I know Mike has mentioned that he doesn't want people using this without the top coat because this, he says has a slight ripple to it, but it's very slight. For me, I don't care because it's an ocean. Don't care if it has a ripple. That's what oceans have. Another line of wave. You can do a little one back here. Bye, Angela. So you can see in the cup, it's like a little bit, it's soft peak. Can you guys bake? So let's see if we can get one out here. taking a lot of heat to push this. But there you go. Okay. I'm happy with this been struggling with waves the past couple days so this kind of gives me some um, validation which is also nice if you've been having issues with a particular style of 
art. So let me do a true color video real quick and I will post it to ATD's poor people. If you're not part of our group, I don't know what you're doing. I can really see that uh, Milky Way. You know the glitter is good if it takes your camera a little bit to focus. Yes, love. Casting craft is good for film? Yeah. Or a Luma light, right? Both. No, I haven't tried a Luma light for cells. Casting craft, Snow White, and titanium are my favorites, but I think we're out of titanium. What about the color passion? I like color passion for base cells. Like if I was doing a, like a 40 inch ocean or a countertop, I would put the base tint in it. I'm out of it. Sorry about that. No idea what happened. Um, all you guys missed was I was answering Jeff's question about what whites create cells because he was answering people on the Facebook. So um, the moral of today's video is different whites work with different resins and they don't work with other resins. Yesterday, nope, day before yesterday I tried to get cells with this exact formula but a different resin and it did not do this. But it worked today. But then on other days I've worked the same process with the same ingredients all the way down to the resin and it worked. You can never tell. But I hope you guys liked my this. I love it. And it's already to the point where if I tilt it, it's not moving, even though I just heated it up. I'm going to let it chill for like two hours, and then I will post a video of it dry to the touch in an hour or so on Facebook and ATD's Poor People. You can find that right in here. Doink, 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 doink. Um, make sure you, now you want to lay down. you're going to love that black sand beach, Jessica. Temperature is absolutely true. It comes down to the thickness. Ready to lay down now? 
of the pigment in resin versus what other pigments in resin you have. So like your white resin mixture versus your blues resin mixture. And you can use additives like silicone, which I absolutely advise against, but do you? Um, so before Cujo makes a daring jump off of this couch, I better say sayonara to you guys. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you were entertained. If not, nah. Tomorrow will be a better day for you. Um, if you have any questions, shoot us an email or a text. Behind a little bit on both of those, but I will eventually answer. If you want to try Platinum, I have a code for 10% off from Stone Coat's channel. The code is YALL, Y-A-L-L, all caps. And that'll give you 10%? No, I think it's $10 off. But I have a code and the link listed down in the description box below this video. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, everything else you can find from our website, artisttoleft.com. That's with two T's and two L's. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye.